This study of geometry involves gathering information outside the school and analysing it in the classroom. Year 9s from Wilden School in Hampshire are looking for maths in their local children's playground. There's like a triangle underneath. It's like the gradient. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is right. <laughs> uh, half a circle. Oh, half a circle. With them are maths teacher Debbie Johnson, advanced skills teacher Natasha Cowan, and their IT technician to take pictures with his video camera. The project aim was really to make the mathematics memorable for the pupils by putting it into a context and give them a very real opportunity to work with some of the mathematics that we find around us. Well, I'm seeing 360 degrees a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that they were split equally in thirds and the angles were 120 degrees each because the circle's 360. It's like, a, it's like a dip type, it's like, it's like a, a half a circle. A group of pupils out of the class going into a playground situation <laughs> and looking for all the mathematics that they could see. And they were recording that through taking photographs, so through taking measurements that they could bring so back to the classroom. So how tall is the whole of that? Two metres, 23. So what maths are you looking for? The um, angles and the... Um, it's a triangle. Angle of the, like, the slope. Do you remember what the word for that is? Gradient. Fantastic. <laughs> Circumference, <laughs> round the circle, and like when it goes up and down the distance between, I don't know. The circumference of the circle that we were going in and the radius that was between us. Oh. <laughs> OK, guys, so what measurements might you want to take back to school from this? The, the diameter. The diameter. The circumference. The circumference. Do you need to measure the circumference? Um, no, you can work it out. How could you work it out? Pi times diameter. Excellent. So or if you pi measure... times radius squared. Mm -hmm. No, pi times, times radius times two. For the circumference? Oh, yeah, yeah. The speed on the sides is a lot slower because obviously you come off quite a lot of Is the speed earlier. a lot slower, do you agree? If, if what Josh said about coming off quicker at the sides, then it would probably be faster. So it might be faster, you think, around mm. the circumference in than the in the middle. So what mathematics could we find to do with, with this swing, girls? Um, you could find like the arc of the swing yeah. and then work out the whole of the circle and like work out the, the radius and work out the radius. The radius. Where where would you go to measure the radius then? How would you do that? You'd need to go from the top here to the, um, the middle bulge. bit of the circle. Okay, so you're going to measure from the top to the middle bit of your swing. So just talk to me about the shape that you're actually sitting in. Um, um, it's like a dome, so you could... Like a dome? Okay. Do you know what the mathematical name is for a dome? Part of what shape? A sphere. A sphere. A sphere. I think as a class teacher, you feel it's risky to do this sort of work. You're putting the learning in their hands, and that's quite a brave step. It is extremely rewarding in terms of looking at what you get back. You never fail to be surprised. Do you open it with? Oh, OK. Back at school, they download the pictures taken in the playground and begin to explore the mathematics they suggest. Uh, we're just looking at um, pictures and seeing what um, maths we can come up with, so like gradient. So if we can see different gradients and circumference. So we can put that into John's sketch pad and make that into a circle. Find the radius. Yeah, well, do you want to do it? Once the pictures are in the dynamic geometry software, students can add lines and shapes over them and measure lengths and angles. Well, it's a semicircle. Is it? Yeah. How are you sure it's a semicircle? It's half of a circle. Could you show me that? Yeah, because I could, the, I could draw a line from there okay. to there. They were then able to decide uh, within each group a focus that they were going to look at for their project. And starting, most importantly, to share ideas, overcome problems. Is, is it a semicircle? And then you're going to 
think about now how you're going to find out and answer that question. So the think card should be measure the distance from where the swing goes back yeah, to when the swing and then, goes forward. Yeah, and to measure the distance it travels. Yeah, that will work. Do you want to write it now? You can write it if you want. Okay. You've dropped your picture into Geometer Sketch Pad. What are you doing now? Because it's right. quite interesting. So we've just started measuring the lengths of our points so that then we can times them together to get the gradient. Do we times Div them together? Divide them. <laughs> divide them. Oh, so what so you've you've drawn some lines here yeah. to make it what have you made it into? Well we've made it a right angled triangle. Okay. Relative to again to the angle of the slide. Okay. And that's quite a good fit for this slide, isn't it? Yeah. That's quite good. It worked quite well, yeah. Okay. It's quite good to experiment with like the different tools and stuff on geometry's sketch sketch pad. And it's quite good the way you can do measure like the lines um, gradients and stuff using the information you collected at the playground. It's a picture of a uh, big slide and we've just like put in some lines to show where the triangles are. We've got to calculate like the size of each triangle so that we can eventually find out the length of this slide. You need to find out the diameter. Click on the line. And then go length. They're computer literate and they're used to using ICT as a learning medium. Yes. Yeah, that'd be. And then you need to measure that. That should be half of that. They see that very much as a tool that they can use. We got the picture of the roundabout, but yeah. it's slightly disorientated. So what it, do you mean by disorientated? Like it's a, an angle instead of having like a bird's eye view on it. Ah, so, okay. Yeah. So it's a bit distorted. It's it's not yeah, quite distorted. That's okay, as you'd see it from the top. Um, Does that matter? Yes, because when they're thinking through the project, it's actually very structured in terms of setting the context for the investigation, like, yeah. thinking carefully about your groups, how you're going to encourage the pupils to focus on the mathematics they're going to do, how you're going to encourage them to keep going, the key questions that you're going to ask, that's, that's crucial really, and learning not to answer them yourself, but to, to pass them back as a question. What type of triangle is that then, if you've got... Scaling. A scaling triangle, okay, according. And do you think that's really the. Is that what you expected? Um, not really. No, not really. What did you expect? I think uh, kind of an isosceles, maybe. Okay, and why do you think? Is there any reason why you think you're not getting what you expect? Because it's um, at an angle. It's because not... it's at an angle. Yeah. So, okay, so what can you do? Um, we can do, your plan. do our own circle. Okay. Yeah. What we were trying to do is work out the radius of the thing, of, of the, the thing. swing. Okay, um, why, can I, just stop a minute and explain to me why you were finding the radius, because I'm interested in that. What we were trying to do is work out the circumference of the circle if, if it was it, to yeah, go if round. If it gone round the whole 360. Okay. Okay, and why do you think it's a circle? Explain to me a little bit about that. What's happening? Um, the swing. Yeah, I can it's see. It like goes in a 180 degree angle. Okay. Well, if it's swung, if it's swung, swung to the top. It's like an arc. Okay. An yeah. arc yeah. is a Off. little bit of a circle. Okay, and it might go, yeah. you're saying to me, it might go. No. Uh, uh, hot, yeah, hot, yeah. Okay. The only thing is, we didn't get the length of that part. Oh, no. So, so. Um, Okay, so we've got the scale, but we haven't got the real length. Yeah. Okay, what could we do? We're in the classroom, we can't go back to the park. Yeah. Is there anything that we could do to try and think about what that real um, length might be? Could you try and estimate it? I think that's a, the best we can do now. What could we use to help us with our estimate? How tall? There's somebody in the picture, thank goodness for that, because that <laughs> yeah. gives us something now. So what? how could we use Chloe's height there to start to help us to think um, about the real radius? Like, we could take my height yeah. and then see the difference okay. between what it is in the picture okay. and then what it is in real life. Okay. And then somehow... Do you know how tall you are? About five foot five. I okay, think. are you going to work in imperial or are you going to work in metric? Do you want to work in feet and inches or are you going to work in metres and centimetres? You're centimetres. Okay, you've got your scale drawing in centimetres so that might make life easier. So I think, what do you need to do before you can do anything else uh, then? Work out the length. Of? 
Of Chloe. We need to find Chloe's height in metres and centimetres or in centimetres. I think two of the key learning skills that students are developing through this project, Worse Than These Tasks, would be the creative thinking and independent learning. The students are investigating their own routes through the project and their own tasks. They're having to think about exactly how they're going to take that route and why and what else they could investigate. But also the independent learning. They are working on their own and they're choosing their own decisions as they go. Our question was whether this like this playground toy here was a semicircle and what we did is we dropped it into Geometer's sketch pad and we drew one of our own circles around it and then we could tell the scale of the, um, the picture because we asked her what height she was she said five foot three so we knew there was the height of the we knew there was 12 inches in a foot so we did that calculation and then in this picture Jodie's height is 8.48 centimetres. Which is nearly the height of the middle bit. Yeah, which is almost which is almost the height of the this bit here. Well we um decided to see what the triangle actually was. We just did a circle. We're not sure if it we're not sure if it's like the exact same size, but we just did a circle and then we constructed a line transformed and rotated it 120 degrees because we wanted to get three equal parts and um, that would create three equal parts for us. Then we just joined up all the edges like we did there, just on here, and we got it was an equilateral triangle. And now we're going to work out the circumference of that and write down the circumference of the actual roundabout. We did Pythagoras' theorem to work out the hypotenuse of it. So, um, and then we managed to check it by using measure, and so we successfully did that. And we get to use investigation, and instead of just getting normal textbooks out, we can um, do it actively. We can work in groups, and be able to explore different things of our own choice. Normally, we don't like questions in books and stuff, but doing this is more active and more fun. Whereas, like doing books, sometimes it gets boring. Um, we get to be like. Um, much more open with what we do because we um, we get to like make our own actual like question card um, and we can investigate something like we choose ourselves so um, we can go even more deep into things and then maybe once we've done that we could expand on what we've done even more so it's almost like a starting point and then you're kind of, um, it's like a spider diagram and then you're expanding out different ideas. So when you're finding things out on your own you like kind of taking the information easier Whereas when you're sat in a classroom, just listening to the teacher talk, you kind of get distracted easily and the lessons aren't as fun. And so this way you kind of find the information out yourself and kind of remember it more yes. for the future. I've learned how, like, how, to, how maths like, applies in like, the playground and how uh, it is more important than people think. And how if you look, you can actually find maths anywhere, even like, because you never, before, you, I've been to that park we went to about five times, well, in, five times? Like 20 times, and I've never seen the maths I see now. <laughs> we want to encourage pupils to see mathematics in everything in everyday life and to use their mathematics and their problem solving skills as they grow and as they work and learn and when I analyzed the mock results there was a question on the higher paper about find the arc length um, and they all got it absolutely correct and I know because they spoke to me afterwards and said there was a question about the swing on the paper and it, it had made the maths memorable <laughs>